Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is the day I'm screaming victorious today for every last one of my brothers and every last one of my sisters. I'm praying right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I know for a fact that God is making a way for every last one of my brothers and sisters today. I know that he's providing today. I know he's blessing a miracle on somebody's life today. I know breakthrough is coming today. I know open doors is coming today. I know somebody receiving a blessing today. I know for a fact that somebody's prayers have been heard and answered today. I know today is the day that God is about to do something different in every last that's one of our life today because we are beating to him. We're putting our faith and trust in him each and every day that we are walking with him. And I know our God is that awesome. Our God is that faithful. Our God is that kind. Our God is that joyful. And I'm saying thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for providing for my brothers and my sisters and myself today, oh God. I just want to say thank you for all the blessings. I want to say thank you for all the opportunities. I want to say thank you for all the open doors. I want to say thank you for our breakthrough. I want to say thank you for the rain. I want to say thank you for the connection. I want to say thank you for the resource. I want to say thank you for the love. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you for providing today. I just want to say thank you for your healing today. I just want to say thank you for your anointing today. I just want to say thank you for your deliverance today. I just want to say thank you for your healing today. I just want to say thank you for your faithfulness today. I just want to say thank you for your giving today. I just want to say thank you for your love and your mercy today, oh God. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. For coming through for every last one of my sisters, my brothers, myself today. I'm giving you the glory right now. And saying thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We knew for a fact that you won't fail us or forsake us, even though it's been hard for us. Even though we've been going through some things. Even though our pain and that burden has been so heavy. But you came through for us today. You made a way today, Jesus. You parted the Red Sea for us today, Jesus. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you. My brothers and my sisters, I just want to share one thing real quick before I get into this word, into this message today. This particularly what I'm about to say right now if it's somebody right now today I don't know who it is this right here for my brothers my sisters and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus today is a day I want to encourage every last one of you you know exactly who you are just to start what you're doing just for a couple seconds just get on your knees and I want you really to confess with your mouth and confess with your tongue and say, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. Once you confess it with your mouth and you confess it with your tongue, right then and there you are saved, you are born again, and your relationship with Jesus began at that very moment. That's the only thing that Jesus asks and requires out of every last one of his children. As a personal relationship. Please do so. And if you do have a personal relationship, you continue to build your personal relationship with Jesus each and every day. He want to hear your voice each and every day. He don't want to hear your voice when you're in trouble or when you want something or you needed something. He want to hear your voice every single day. That's what I mean by building a personal relationship. He want to hear your voice. And stay consistent with it. And stay persistent with it. Amen. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. I believe right now somebody's confessing it right now. I believe right now somebody's confessing it with their mouth and their tongue right now. Asking Jesus to be their Lord and Savior Christ. Glory, hallelujah. I know that it's done right now. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. And today's word is coming from Matthew 6. And we're going to be reading verse 24. It's Matthew 6, verse 24. And today's word is, you cannot serve two masters. And some of you right now know exactly what you're doing. You love in one, but you hate in the other. You are addicted to one, but you're not addicted to the other. 
today. I want you to reverse that situation today. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I come before you today. Just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for our healing today. I just can't thank you enough for our anointing today. I just can't thank you enough for our deliverance today. I just can't thank you enough for our blessings today. I just can't thank you enough for our breakthrough today. I just can't thank you enough because you are providing for us today. I just can't thank you enough because I know that our prayers are heard and answer today. I just can't think of because I know that you are sending us rain today. I just can't think of, I know that you're sending us the help today, that what we need today. I just can't think, you know, how you're moving on our behalf today. I just can't think enough for your faithfulness. I just can't think enough for your love. I just can't think enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh God. I just can't think enough for the food that you put on that table. I just can't think enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on that back. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name. I just can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Matthew 6. And we're going to read verse 24. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. No one can serve two masters. Either he will take the one and love the other, or he'll be devoted to the one. And despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The word of God says no one. I mean no one. No man. No woman. Can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one. And love the other. And some of y'all are doing just that. You're serving two masters. Right now you're serving that job. More than you're serving Jesus. And that job is not guaranteed. That job. It's not promises, but you are serving that job more than you are serving Jesus. It don't make any sense. You are devoted to that job. You are committed to that job. You are dedicated to that job, but you're not committed or dedicated or devoted to Jesus. You're serving two masters. Some of y'all are serving that house more than you are serving Jesus. That house can be taken away today. That house can be burned down today. But you still, but you still serving that house. You committed to that house. You're devoted to that house. But not to Jesus. Some of y'all are serving that car. Wait. Before you're serving Jesus, you're committed to that car. You're dedicated to that car. You make sure that car stays sparkling clean. But how many times have you been committed and dedicated? You, you devote yourself to Jesus. Wasn't he the one who got you that house? Wasn't he the one that got you that job? Wasn't he the one that got you that car? But you don't even put him first. You put that job first. You put that car first. You put that house first. You're serving the master. Some of y'all are serving fame and money. Y'all addicted to it. You love it. You despise Jesus. You're devoted to that fame. You're devoted to that money. But not devoted. Are committed, are dedicated to Jesus. I tell you one thing, my brother: that money can go away, that job can go away, that car can go away, that house can go away, that them family members can go away, them friends can go away. But Jesus is still to stand and be here forever. That's why I love Him so much. That's why I had to ask Jesus this morning. I said, Jesus, I'm at a job right now. I'm not committed to, I'm not dedicated to, and I'm not devoted to you. So how can I serve two masters when all I want to do is serve you? I need some help right now. All I want to do is work for you. All I want to do is be your mouthpiece, Jesus. I'm committed to you. I'm devoted to you. I'm dedicated to you. 
All I want to do is serve you. I love you more than that job. I love you more than my family. I love you more than my children. I love you more than my wife. I'm devoted and dedicated and committed to you. The only thing I want to serve is you, Jesus. The only one I want to please is you, Jesus. The only one I'm committed and dedicated to is you, Jesus. You're the only master that I want to serve. Point blank, period. The word of God said, no one, no one can serve two masters. And some of y'all are serving two masters right now. When the only master that matter, only one only one ma master will always be there for you. Only one master will always, always be patient with you and love you and give you the things that you need. That's why I'm devoted to that ma one master and his name is Jesus. That's why I'm committed to that one master in his name is Jesus. That's why I'm dedicated to that one master in his name is Jesus. All I want to do is serve that one master in his name is Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, Emmanuel, Prince of Peace. He's the only one. He's the only one. Because that job is not promised to nobody. Same y'all got to get that in here. You really, really devoted to that job. You committed. You don't... You just do everything for that job. When Jesus asks you to do something, you put him on the back burner. Some of y'all committed and dedicated to that car, that house, that fame, that money, material thing, but you're not committed, dedicated, devoted to Jesus. you loving that, but you're really not loving Jesus. you put all your faith and trust in that, but you're not putting all your faith and trust in Jesus. You got your priorities backwards. You, got, you have your priorities wrong. Reverse that. Be committed to Jesus. Be dedicated to Jesus. Be devoted to Jesus. And love him. And love him unconditionally. And love him. Put your faith and trust in him. No matter what the situation or the circumstances look like. But you cannot serve two masters. The word of God especially, it says it right here. You cannot do it. It says no one. He means no man, no woman can serve two masters. Easy. He said either you will hate the one. And love the other. And who the one that you hating the most? You showing it. When you when you loving that job more. You showing it. When you loving that car more. You showing it. When you loving that house more. You showing it. When you loving that fame and money more. You showing it. When you loving your, your husband and your wife more. You showing it. When you loving your children more. You showing it. You showing it each and every day. You are showing it. The picture already shows each and every day what you're doing. Reverse your picture around today. Because the one who loved you for you, the one who died on the cr cross for you, the one who carried every last one of our sins for you, that's one that you need to be serving. That's one that you need to be loved to. That's one that you need to be committed to. That's the one that you need to be dedicated to. That's the one that you need to be devoted to is Jesus. Do yourself a favor today. Some of y'all really loving one and really hating the other. That was exactly what you're doing. You're serving two masters. Like I said before, that job is not promising at all. That car is not promising at all. That fame and money is not promising at all. Your family members are not promised at all. Your husband, your wife, or your children is not promised to you at all. But Jesus, he's promised to you. He's promised to every last one of us forever, forever. And forevermore. So which master are you going to serve today? Which master are you going to give your heart to today? Which master are you going to commit to today? What master are you going to be devoted to today? What master are you going to love more than the other today? That's my question. I want to ask somebody today. I don't know who I'm talking to today. But this word and this message today is clearly for someone today. Which master are you going to choose? Which master are you going to pick? Which master are you going to love or hate the most? Which one, my brothers? Which one, my sisters? But the word of God says you can't look, you can't serve two masters. So either you're going to love one or you're going to hate the other. I hope, I hope today that you're going to love Jesus more and hate the other one more. I just really hope that. Take time out and just make a decision today. What master are you going to serve today? 
Which master are you going to be devoted, dedicated, and committed to today that you're going to honor, that you're going to cherish each and every day with all your heart, your might, and your soul each and every day? Which master are you going to put first in your life? Which one? Don't lie. Be honest with yourself. That's what Jesus loved. Jesus loved honesty. Be honest with yourself. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word, this message, it's very clear and understanding to somebody today. And if it was today, let's give Jesus a thanks right now. Let's give him the praise right now. And let's give him the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, don't leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. And always keep Jesus first place in your life. Have a blessed, beautiful, blessed day today. Amen.